Welcome survivors, it's almost here. Fear Evolve 6 is right around the corner, dropping on October the 19th through to November the 2nd. Wildcard actually dropped all the event details a week earlier than I expected, props to them. This has always been my most favourite event of the year. And here's some Fear Evolve promos I've created recently, let me know what you guys think. So the event is going to be pretty much unchanged for the most part, as to be expected this late in Ark's life. But there are new chibis and colours for people to collect, and if this is your first ever Fear Evolved, then you're in for a real treat. So to activate the event on your own server, you'll need to use the event parameters active event equals Fear Evolved. And if you're playing on single player, then this shouldn't be necessary, as it should be running by default when the update drops. The official rates are rising which cover XP, harvesting, taming, breeding and hexagons and breeding does include maturation. I often see people ask about this. Whenever Wildcard mentioned breeding in rates it always includes mating interval, mature speed, egg hatch speed, baby cuddle interval and imprint amount. So official servers will see 3 times boost with small tribes and conquests getting 4.5 times and arc apocalypse getting 5 times, all with 1.5 times hexagon boost. All of the event creatures are what we've seen before, including the Dodo Rex on the island and Dodo Wyvern on Scorched Earth. Now it's important to note here that these only spawn on those two maps and no other for the event. The Dodo Rex and Dodo Wyvern both spawn at midnight, that's in game time, every third night and you'll know when it's spawned as there'll be an announcement on the screen at the time and the sky will be filled with meteors and the moon will show the Dodo Rex or the Wyvern on the relevant map. And with this being the last ever Fear Evolved, this may be your last chance to grab yourself a zombie Wyvern before they are gone for good. At least I don't think there are plans to add them as permanent spawns. And it's a real shame that this isn't done for the Zomdodos, the poor little fellas. Now I'm sure all of you have at least one creature you wish they added to this event. And for me personally, it's the Equus. Whether it's a ghost or skeleton Equus, or preferably half skin, half skeleton. That is the one I've always wanted. Let me know in the comments which one creature you wish they had made for this particular event. Now they have previously said back in March this year that all associated event cosmetics will be added to the Hexagon Exchange Store on all platforms once each event has ended. So the Fear Evolved ones will be added after this upcoming event. They also stated that the event content so this would be the creatures, the Dodo Rex spawning, the Dodo Wyvern, the Pumpkins and the Scarecrows, all of that, all spawning as part of the event will be added to the PC at the end of the year. Meaning that unofficial servers and presumably single player will still be able to activate the full event whenever they feel like it. But sadly, this doesn't seem like it's going to be happening for consoles. So that, I, I don't know if that's a performance thing. It probably is. But it's pretty sad that it's not coming to any other platform. But for PC, you'll still be able to run the events. Also, in some Fear Evolved events in the earlier years, they used to change the trees to autumn colours. So instead of green leaves, we had orange and brown, and it looked fantastic. They've not done it every year though, so whether we get that for the very last Fear Evolved, it's not yet to be seen, but I really, really hope they have done it. And there's also new chibis. We've got the Desmodus, Vulture, Anglerfish, Araneo, and the Spooky Bulb Dog. Now, I don't know about you survivors, but I can't wait to check out the Desmodus Chibi. I always prefer the flying Chibis as I feel like they look better in the air than Chibis being dragged on the ground. But I think that one should be a pretty decent one to get. Then we've got all of the other items which are from previous Fear Evolved events. So ghost skins, which you can only get by killing the ghost creatures and harvesting them from their bodies. Event items, which include pumpkins, headstones and scarecrows, which will randomly spawn on the map only when you are in close proximity to them. And dinosaur bones that you can harvest from killing skeleton dinos. And finally, the dino candy corn, which you can use to color your dinos and they are often found in the event supply drops. 
Then we've got the emotes and the skins. These are usually all obtained by collecting the pumpkins, headstones, scarecrows and dinosaur bones to use to craft them in the cooking pot. Hopefully they'll be spawning a plenty on the map in this event as I know in the past events there's been issues with them and people complain about it and then they end up increasing the spawn rate mid event. But come on devs, let's sell it high from the get go. And these also spawn on all maps where the event is activated, not just the island or Scorched Earth. It's only really the Dodo Wyvern and the Dodo Rex that are unique to the island and uh, Scorched Earth. And we've got new event colours. Well, not quite. I mean, they've listed nine new colours here, but it is in fact only one new colour, which is Bigfoot Zero as all of the other colours have been listed on previous events over the years. Unless of course I've also missed Bigfoot Zero 2 from a previous event but I couldn't find it. Now Fear Evolved isn't expected to be the very last event of this year but you may not see some of these colours in the remaining events so make sure to try and get them whilst you can. Studio Wildcard have previously said there are plans for more than one event remaining this year and that was said prior to Fear Evolved but after all of the other events have been running this year. So that just leaves Fear Evolved, Turkey Trials and Winter Wonderland to go and so it's likely we'll get at least one more event after Fear Evolved. Now I'm personally hoping they just go with all of them because there's only two more it's literally just two. So hopefully we get Turkey Trials and Winter Wonderland. Also, not forgetting the one-time New Year event, which they did years back. They've never done it since. No idea whether they're going to do that this year. Probably not. But guys, I hope you have a lot of fun with Fear Evolved this year. And anyone that is brand new to it, I can't wait to hear what you think about it. You must be so excited to try it for the first time after all these years so that's it survivors get yourself ready for october the 19th thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of the art news and i'll see you next time